Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW 520. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre 520D M Sport Auto. Euro 6, 2014 R 14 plate, has done 72,111 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 53.3 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 68.9 miles per gallon. And combined is 62.8 miles per gallon has a top speed of 145 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 187 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Um, BMWs, very, very popular. Not my favorite, but <laughs> it wouldn't do for us all to be the same. Drives great, looks great, nice design, a good level of specification. What's it got? The twin five spoke alloy wheels, rear privacy glass, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, front fog lamps there, the chrome kidney shaped grille surround, shark fin roof aerial, the little lip boot spoiler, it has got the boot opens itself. If you open it from here, it'll, it'll open. On these five series, it's rather urgent. So if you're opening it, just for, I would suggest you put your hand round about here. And then, <laughs> I mean, it nearly took me over the front of the car because it, it really, really flies up. So that's not going to do the car any good. So it, it, you just need to hold on to it when you open it up. Big boot space, pretty cavernous. You've got your tool kit just under here. Should you need it, BMWs are pretty reliable, so you shouldn't. And we've got reversing sensors in the back there and the twin exhaust tips there. The older I get, the lower down these seem to be. Uh, nice Daytona leather. Plenty of room in the back. I've got my seat right the way back in the front in my driver's position, and uh, I've still I've still got bags of room, and I can I can even get in still with my gammy knee as well. So let's just have a look. Rear centre armrest there with a little compartment in it. Rear child seat, Isofix anchor points. Uh, nice nice car, absolute nice car. Little coat hangers there. Just little features, all nice. And this, we sold it a couple of years ago, I think it was probably, to one of our best customers, comes back, him and his wife come back time after time, buy cars off us, and we've just taken it back in part exchange. Um, and and it, it's just a nice, good value car. Good motorway cruiser. The, the, the fuel economy, you know, 60 odd miles per gallon. Um, I don't think you'll get that. But if you get 50 out of something like this, then uh, that, that would certainly do for me. I, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Let's go for a ride. That's the key, keyless ignition, foot on the brake, start stop switch, and then Auto stop start off, first thing. Here we go, what have we got? Height and reach adjustable steering wheel, like so. Electric seats, up and down, back, like so. And then the service history. So service history, 2nd of 12, 2015 at 14,474 miles, Bowkers. 8th of 7th, 2021 at 63,083 Oakwell Leyland. 7th of 9th, 2023 at 70,416 miles Northwest Water Care. So it's only done 72,112 miles now. So not very long ago or not very far serviced. Um, Let's 
So great, no doubting, it's a great engine, it really is. Um, I was at BMW when they first bought, well, when they brought the first kind of diesel engine out in the 3 Series. And I remember going out in it and uh, it would pull away. You could, <laughs> you could drive it in fourth gear and pull away from virtually a standstill in fourth gear. So that just shows you what the low end torque was like and the, you know, the, the grunt, the pull of it. Um, it. It made me laugh, I was watching some well-known EV guy, EV expert, and he was driving up a hill and he says, uh, oh, he, you know, this EV goes up this hill like nobody's business where with a, a, a petrol or you'd have to be revving it and so on and changing gear. With a diesel, you could put it in fourth and go up there, mate, towing your EV. So it's probably a good idea. You shut your mouth until you know what you're talking about. But that's just me, eh? So this, <laughs> absolutely lovely. Knock that over there like so. Change down, pushing the gear, select forward, change up, pulling it back. You will never have any need to do that because it's got this marvellous setting that's just called drive and you put it in there and you forget all about it. Nice steering. This one, one of the big things I have against BMs is always feels like it's they're a harsh drive on the road. Too much feel, too much tyre feel through the um, through the steering wheel, and not in a good way, like grinding tyre feel. But this is is pretty pleasant. It's not too bad at all. So you've got speed limit there, cruise control there cruise control and then set and I can just increase the speed like so knock it down 40 mile an hour limit and that's set at 40 miles an hour here suspension's not too bumpy and there's a lot to be said for the economy not sure what size tank this is, but if you're getting 50 to 60 miles to the gallon, you must be able to get from one end of the country to the other. Here we've got the eye control, so you've got sat nav, so your sat nav screen there. Let's knock that back in a second. There you go back. Your options screen, all your settings, that's media, auxiliary, menu there, vehicle information, settings, efficient dynamics. This shows you, there's a little blue section with a battery picture in the rev counter it shows you the discharging has kind of a little curve system so if i then put my foot on the brake you'll see it shoots right up into the blue and right up into the battery as if it's charging the battery to, to save and harvest when the battery's on high load at a later date navigation back on there but also let me just say here we go we've got sport and comfort so that's in sport immediately makes the throttle more sensitive rev shoot up and the throttles you touch the throttle and away you go down one into comfort and if I go into Eco Pro like so, I get another display on the dash 
which tells me how much I've gained from this Eco Pro system where it recharges the battery, goes into the blue and saves your energy. Climate control and it's nice and icy. Heated seats. Electronic handbrake, auto hold. There's your parking, you can switch that off if the beeping's getting on your nerves. You'd rather crash into something than listen to beeping. You can knock it off. On the door card here, you've got your electric window switches. You've also got, if I knock that over there, that's your door mirrors, electric door mirrors, knock it back there and uh, just set it so we can see the door handles which usually means you can see the curb and behind you at the same time. Just, uh, we'll get round here. And onto the motorway. Now that's that's in Eco, um, Eco Pro, which is you know I mean that's still fast enough, so it's pretty good, is that? I'm just going to put it in comfort. Went too fast. We'll just slow down there. Set the cruise again. There we go. Oops. I didn't set the cruise, I knocked it off. So I'll just increase it. 6970, there you go. So on the dash, fuel gauge on the left, speedo, centre of left. In the speedo, you have a display telling you how far you can go before you need to fill up. Then on the right, your rev counter. In the rev counter, there's your Eco Pro display. As soon as I touch the brake or start slowing down, then it shoots up into blue and it will tell you in Eco Pro how, whether or not you've gained any fuel, whether you've saved yourself any fuel, it gives you an approximate reading. On the right hand side, you've got coolant temperature as well. In the little display in the speedo, I click over using the end here, showing me average miles per gallon, which is 39.7 car was ticking over while I was videoing it so that's gone down a bit instantaneous as soon as I let my foot off the accelerator 99.9 .9. so that's pretty much a wasted time average miles per hour 26.9 date completely clear And then back to how far you can go before you need to fill up.
nice and smooth, good looking car, economical, dark blue metallic with black leather upholstery, kind of the Recaro style seat, so built up, built up around the edges, hold you in place, but not too hard, still comfortable. Very nice car to drive. So here we are again at the level crossing. It's down as usual. So I'll finish the test drive there. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. A couple of nice cars coming up uh, in the in the videos. And I've also got a couple of affiliate products as well, which uh, I'm quite pleased to be sent to, to test. And uh, we'll see how they go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.